next behavior uh, is teaching a dog how to go into a crate. Uh, it's good that your dog has a safe place to go or a spot that's their own. So this can either be into a crate or even just onto a dog bed. Um, but somewhere that they like going and they like spending time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the treats. And right now I'm just going to toss it in. Good girl. And she goes in to get the treats. Good puppy. Back legs too. Good girl. See ya. Ready? Come on up. Good dog. Ready? Go in. All the way. Good girl. Good puppy. Good job. Okay, come on up. Good girl. All right, this time what I'm going to do is when she goes in, go on, all the way. I'm going to close the door for a little bit. Good girl. And I want her to know that it's a positive thing having that door open to, or door closed too. All right, come here. Come on, Simba. Uh, you can add any kind of uh, word to it. A lot of people use kennel up. Um, Zemo has always grown up with this being called jail uh, ever since she was a baby puppy. So, Zima, go to jail. Good girl. Good puppy. Okay, come on up. <clears throat> go to jail. Another part of going to a crate uh, is that she should stay in there uh, until I say a release word. So, okay. Good girl. When she comes out. Um, and that's really building off of kind of a weight, which we're going to cover next week. So stay tuned, and we'll get the second part of this trick of staying in. Go to jail. We'll get the second part of her staying in there until she's released next week. So, stay tuned. Okay. Good puppy. Good girl.